Today we're going to work with tabs and what tabs allow you to do is jump from spot to spot on your screen or in your document. If I were hooked up to a keyboard, I would hit the tab key and you can see by default it's going to jump across my screen every half inch and that's the default tab setting. I can also use this marker down here and click on that and that'll be the same as a tab key on your keyboard. We're gonna go through and set the tabs so that we can jump from a spot other than a half inch away. In order to set a tab, I need to make sure that my ruler is showing. Remember, we have to go to our view and click on the ruler. Okay, then I'm going to go up to the ruler and I'm gonna to touch, I'm gonna to tap on the one inch mark and you will see that you get a tab marker. The tab marker that looks like this, it looks like an L, this is a left tab. If I click twice on it, I'm gonna get a tab that looks like this. This is gonna be a center. If I tap twice on it, I will get this. This is a right tab. This is a decimal tab. And this is a line tab. Okay, and we're gonna take a look at it. What I want is the one with the L and you can do this on your iPad along with me. Then I'm going to touch one time up on the screen at the three inch mark. I don't want an L this time or the, the tab that looks like this. I'm gonna double click on it because I want the one that looks like an up down, upside down T. And then I'm gonna click one more time on my screen at the six inch mark and I'm gonna tap twice. We'll get the center tab and then I want this tab. You will notice now that these three tabs look different and we're gonna take a look at what they do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the tab key on my keyboard or I could hit this marker down here and I'm gonna type my first name. I'm gonna hit tab again. I'm gonna do the same thing. Oops. And hit tab again and do the same thing here. Then I'm gonna hit return I'm gonna hit tab. So now you can see that when I hit tab, it lines up with that tab there. And I'm gonna type my last name. I'm gonna hit tab, and now you'll see that this line lines up with the tab. And then I'm gonna hit tab again, and you'll see my insertion point again matches up with the tab that's up there. I'm gonna hit return. I'm gonna hit tab, so I jump to this first tab and I'm gonna type Valley City. I'm gonna hit the tab. Again, I'm hitting the tab that's on my keyboard, or again, you can hit the marker that's right down here, which is the same tab. You will notice right now that this is called a left tab because everything aligns on the left side and it pushes everything across. This one is a center tab. Everything is lined up in the center when you type. And this one is a right tab, and you'll see all the, the right sides of your column line up. Okay, there will be times that you want to move your information around. If I just click in this first misses up here, I have my cursor in there, and I move this tab, you will see that it's only going to move that one word. I'm gonna undo it. If I wanna move the whole column, I have to make sure I select the whole table. Then I can move this over and the whole column will move. And I can move this center one and the whole column's gonna move or I can move the right one. So again, if you're going to move an entire column, you have to select the whole table when you're doing that. I'm gonna hit my return a couple times and I want to get rid of the tabs. I don't want those tabs in here anymore. So all I do is I point to the tab, hold it down and drag it down into my document and let it go. If I just drag it down, it will disappear. I'm gonna set a few new tabs. So I'm gonna click on the two inch mark and I'm gonna keep double clicking until I get to that one. Then I'm going to go to the four inch mark and I'm going to double click 
until I get to that one. And then my six inch mark, I'm gonna set a right one. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm ready to use those tabs that I have set up on my ruler. I'm gonna hit my tab. The tab that it lines up with right now is called a decimal tab. So I'm gonna type one, two, three, decimal point four, five, six, seven, eight. And you will notice that the decimal lines up with the tab setting. You can see that it lines up there. Then I'm gonna hit my tab and I'm gonna to jump to there and you'll see what this bar tab does in a little bit here, but I'm gonna type highlighters. Then I'm gonna hit return, hit my tab, and I'm gonna type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven point eight nine. And again, you'll notice that the decimals line up with the decimal tab. If I hit tab and type in Valley City, I'm gonna hit return. I must have double spaced in there. Okay, if I hit return and I hit my tab, again, I can put in 1.0 in there and I can type another word. You will notice now that the tab stop will line up all your tabs. The bar, it just puts a divider bar in the line wherever you have it located. And then you have the right tab over here. Again, if I want to move, if I want to move some of this stuff around, remember I have to select the whole table. I'm just going to select those and say that I want to move the bar over a little bit. I can do that. I can move my decimal over. I can adjust that just by dragging on the tabs up on the top. But again, remember you have to select the entire table for that to work.